Hey guys, have you ever wondered how do you make your first mortgage payment? Well, we're gonna talk about that because when you buy or refinance a home, it isn't just over the day you close. You still have to repay that loan by making monthly mortgage payments. However, how to actually make that first payment after you close is confusing for a lot of people. When is my payment due? Who does it go to? How do I actually make it? Now, don't worry, we're gonna give you the answers to all these questions in today's videos. Happy Red Friday. If you're not wearing red, pause the video, go to the other room, get a red shirt, come back because we want you wearing red every single Friday. If you've been following us, by the way, speaking of red, down to the right, bottom corner of your screen, hit that red button that either says subscribe or follow or join, whatever it says, do it because we put out these videos every single Friday and we love sharing information with you guys. But please wear red in an outward example of what you feel for the military. It's just kind of a way to say, hey, we support you, and we do that every Friday here at Low V Rates. Now let's get back into the video, and that is, how do I make my first mortgage payment? I'm just gonna put first mortgage payment, okay? Because once you're into the, kind of the, the, the system, and for those of you that have had many mortgages, you know that once you're in the groove, it's very easy. It's almost like automatic. But that very first payment with your new mortgage can be difficult to uh, figure out. So let's tackle it. When is the first payment due? A lot of people close their loan and they're like, uh, I don't even know when my first payment's due. Well, just keep in mind that most mortgage payments, almost 100% of the time, are due the first day of the month, okay? First day. So. You know, every day has every month has a first day. That's when your mortgage payments due. But your for, but your first mortgage payment after closing, it doesn't always mean the first day of the very next month. It just depends on how your loan was set up. That's because the interest on your mortgage needs time to accrue. So your first payment only happens on the first of the month. That's a full 30 days after you close. Now, there's exceptions to all rules. My kids have just recently gone back to school and they teach us that from a very young age. They tell us all these rules. I, I think of grammar and then they say, except for some cases. There are ways that a mortgage company could do what's called an interest credit and a full 30 days would not need to pass before your first payment's due, but that happens like one out of 100 times. So here's what we're gonna do. Let me give you an example. Let's say you closed your loan on October 14th. Now write that down. Okay, October 14th is when you closed your loan. Now on November 1st, a full 30 days has not gone by. So it would normally be, as I explained in most cases, that you still would not make a payment on November 1st, okay? So I'm gonna put a little frowny face here. It hasn't been 30 days, less than 30 days. You guys get the point, okay? 30 days hasn't passed. So. When do you think your first mortgage payment would be due if you closed on October 14th? Go ahead and say it. Okay, I'm just being funny now. December 1st, right? That's what my kids say. Nice dad joke, dad. Uh, December 1st is when your mortgage payment would be due. So let's talk about who you send that payment to. Oh, and by the way, this is the math behind it. In your closing packet, you're gonna have documents that let you know when that first payment's due. But a lot of people still wanna understand it and that's what we're doing with our video today. Now for starters, it's very common that the lender who closed your loan, okay, let's just talk about low VA rates. We want you closing all your loans with us. And when we close your loan, that doesn't necessarily mean that we will be the mortgage company that you're gonna send your payments to, okay? Many lenders like to focus and specialize on just originating loans not servicing them. We have videos on the differences between a servicer and an originator and a lender and a banker, so go watch those. In order to originate loans and be a specialist on originating loans, they need to free up their pipelines, which they often do by selling your mortgage to a company called the servicer. Now, it is possible for the company that you close your loan with to both be a mortgage lender and a servicer. However, many of us, just like here at Low Via Rates, choose and prefer to focus on just one. So how, again, how do you know if you need to send your first mortgage payment, in this case on December 1, do you send it to low VA rates who originated your loan or whoever you got your loan originated to, or do you send it to some different servicer, okay? Normally speaking, when you close on your home, you receive 
Back in the day, it used to be like a physical packet. They would hand you a folder. These days, it's either a thumb drive or they give you a link to like the cloud. But one way or another, there's a packet of information. And it's, like I said, it's normally digital. And it's a packet of everything you signed at closing. Included in this paperwork should be a document called your temporary payment coupon, okay? Temporary, temporary, did I spell that right? Payment coupon. It's usually a one page. It looks like there's perforated lines at the bottom. It's not really perforated. You can cut it, you can tear it, but it's got like your first mortgage payment. It's like a temporary statement. And the coupon will normally explain to you everything you need to know about how much of a mortgage payment to make, where to make the mortgage payment, who to make it out to, and like everything you should do, even where to mail it. Now, if for some reason you can't find the temporary payment coupon, just reach out to whoever closed your loan. Your loan officer here at Low VA Rates will be able to help you figure out where to make that first payment. They should be able to tell you if they've sold the loan yet to a servicer and how you can contact them about your payments or they'll let you know if you need to make that payment to them. But again, if you follow the instructions on this temporary payment coupon, nine times out of 10, you're gonna be fine. 10 times out of 10, you'll be fine. The temporary payment coupon is always right. But if you're concerned, just follow up with whoever did your loan. Eventually, sometime between October 14th when you closed, or whatever date that is, and when this first payment comes due, you're gonna receive an official welcome letter from the servicer who will be receiving your ongoing payments. There are situations where the temporary payment coupon might say to make it to low VA rates, but before December 1st, you get a welcome letter from the servicer telling you to actually make it to them. That's where sometimes there's some confusion. That's when you just pick up the phone if you want and you call us and we'll tell you what to do. Let's say you mail in your temporary payment coupon before December 1 and you send it to low VA rates or whoever it says to on that temporary payment coupon. But then sometime before December 1, after you mailed in your payment, you get a welcome letter from your servicer saying send it to them. Don't freak out. Don't get nervous. When we get your payment coupon, uh, when we get your payment, we will forward it on to your servicer for you. There's all sorts of laws protecting you out there as the consumer that say in the first you know, 60 to 90 days that your mortgage servicing has been transferred to a servicer, you're not going to be reported late on your credit because sometimes lines get crossed and people get confused. Okay, so here's what you really need to consider. Once you've closed your loan, please check your mail daily. If you're like me, sometimes that mailbox is just exploding with mail. You don't check it for two or three weeks. That's not something you wanna do. That's not a smart idea right after closing a home because you're gonna to have to be on the watch for that welcome packet from the new servicer. They wanna get it out to you as quickly as you can. Here at Lovia Rates and most other originator companies that are just originating loans and then selling the servicing, they do that within a week or two of you closing your loan. So even before the end of October, your loan's already been transferred. The servicing's already been transferred to your long-term servicer. So be on the lookout for communication. Really, just to make this simple, what I really want you to know is if you're confused, that's normal. Whether you've bought four or five homes in your lifetime or this is your first one, most people have questions about that first payment. It's a big deal. You're gonna make your first payment to somebody. Pick up the phone and call us. We love talking to our borrowers. Ongoing, once you are with your servicer, you can set up auto pay, okay? It's such a smart idea. It reduces the likelihood of you forgetting to make your payments. It's on autopilot, okay? It's just very easy. All it's doing is it's linking your mortgage account electronically to one of your checking accounts that you choose and like clockwork, boom, your mortgage payment just comes out. This allows your mortgage servicer to automatically get the funds from you when they're due. And something I will add just in, in conclusion, even though your mortgage payment is due on the first day, you have a grace period of 14 days. After day 14, on day 15, you might get a late payment. So just because it's due on the first, I personally pay all my mortgage payments on the 10th. Now you may say, well, why is that? Well, I get paid on the 5th of every month. So once I get paid, all of my auto pay bills start coming out. You can do it however you want. Some people are absolutely religious about paying on the first because they don't wanna mess up their credit. Your credit's not messed up until you have, are 30 days past due, but I just throw that in there, okay? Now, it's not to say that auto pay is the only way to do your mortgages, okay? I know a lot of people that are old school, that's not a bad thing. They literally write out their check every single month, 
they mail it in. Okay, there are other people that might make their mortgage payment three or four months in advance. Get one big check, send it in. We're not here to tell you how to make your mortgage payment. We just want you to know that very first mortgage payment that's due can be confusing. And I hope this video has helped clarify some of that for you. Keep watching every single Friday. We're back at the same time, always wearing red, hopefully sharing with you all sorts of information that's gonna make you a better and more prepared homeowner. Thank you.